Hi, y'all. Welcome to Live, Love, and Lifestyle. I'm Michelle Davenport. Today, I am bringing you the best ever, the best ever, <laughs> vegan potato mushroom soup. Hey y'all, well, we're in the kitchen now and we're all ready to make that vegan potato mushroom soup. So let's get started. All right, first of all, you're gonna put two tablespoons of butter in a pan that's already starting to heat. And then you're gonna get your one onion and you're gonna dice it. And that's all there is to that. I'm gonna dice it up. Now, Rachel Ray has a trash bowl. I have a Target bag <laughs> sitting in my sink. So we'll just cut it in half, slice it through, and then go ahead and just cut it longwise. This is the easiest way I know how to cut up an onion. I'll show you again in just a minute. I think my pot might be hiding me. <laughs> okay. So we're just gonna cut this onion up and saute it in butter. And after that, we're gonna do the same thing to our carrots. We're gonna chop them up and add them to the butter. We're just gonna saute everything until it gets translucent. Put it into the pot. The butter. So this is a pretty easy meal. It's not a 15 minute meal by any stretch of the imagination, but, so you just get your onion, I don't know if you can see me, you get your onion and you just slice right into it on, the, on a diagonal and then you cut lengthwise and that way you can get some even dices on your onion. And then you just cut the other way. I'll probably need to do a demonstration of an onion on a separate video. For those of you that actually don't know how to cut an onion, which I didn't either until I learned. So, hey, there's no shame in that. That's, isn't that the way it is? You don't know until you know, <laughs> until you've been taught. So we're gonna go ahead and put all that onion in there. And then you're also gonna do the same thing with a carrot. You're gonna slice it and dice it, and you're gonna throw it in there with your onion and your butter. Two stalks of celery, one onion, and two carrots. Chopped, put into a pot with two tablespoons of butter, and we're just gonna saute that along with a 10 ounce package of mushrooms. And we're gonna saute that all up. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just working on chopping and dropping. All right, so we've got, like I said, two onions, two carrots, and no, actually just one onion, I'm sorry. Two carrots and two stalks of celery and with two, two tablespoons of butter. And we're gonna go ahead and turn the heat up a little bit so we can get this saute in. I'm gonna get a spatula. Now, in a minute, you're gonna notice that from the waist up, I'm wearing flannel shirt, kinda cute. <laughs> from the waist down, I'm just cooking the way I cook at home for normal, a normal day. And I'll wear sweatpants, especially in the winter months. So you're gonna see when I go over this counter, I'm wearing some gray sweatpants. <laughs> Our little wooden spoon and give this a stir and we're gonna let this go ahead and get started and we're gonna add oh about a I'll put the exact recipe in the description box on the bottom of this recipe but we're gonna add about um, I don't know a table uh, not a tablespoon about a teaspoon of pepper uh, to your liking really I mean there's no rule here just I, this is the way I like to cook. I like to have fun in the kitchen. I don't want too many rules and restrictions on myself. So I like to be creative. So go ahead and just put whatever you think. I like, you know, I like pepper. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a lot of pepper. Then we don't do a lot of salt. So I'm just gonna give a, just a little bit of salt in here. And then you can season it at the end, seriously. I tell you, if you mess up at this point and put way too much, it's hard to take it out. But at the end, if you taste it and it needs more salt and pepper, shoot, just throw it on in there. You'll be all right. And, uh, and even then, even if you serve it and you forget to taste it um, at the end and you serve it and it needs a little salt and pepper, what's, what, there's no big deal. Throw some salt and pepper on it from the table. Then you're gonna go ahead and get a 10 ounce package of mushrooms. You're gonna throw that in there. So you're just gonna stir this up and you're gonna saute this. And it, it, this recipe also calls for five cloves of garlic, chopped and minced. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, just wanna keep on giving this a stir. 
and keep smacking the heck out of your garlic <laughs> so you can get it peeled because it needs to go in there in a few. I love cooking. It's relaxing to me. I love cooking when I love to cook. <laughs> that makes sense. I love to cook when I'm in the mood to cook. So, um, but I really do enjoy the process of chopping and just just developing the flavors as you cook and and being able to just be so satisfied at the end when you get to taste it and it's so delicious. And you know, many times anymore, recipes are. Um, faster than takeout or getting in your car and going somewhere. There's so many easy recipes that are packed full of flavor that you can get in 30 minutes or less in your own home. And we can thank Rachel Ray for that. <laughs> Hand, clean hands. And I uh, go ahead, these vegetables are pretty translucent now. And I'm gonna go ahead and dump that garlic in there. Get every bit of that goodness that you can off your hands and give that a stir. And let that saute, oh, I don't know maybe um, a couple of minutes while you're waiting for this, while you have 30 seconds <laughs> I'm waiting for this, go ahead and start peeling your potato um, because you're gonna peel up five potatoes. Again, the, rest, the whole recipe will be in the description box so you don't have to try to, you know, like me back in the day, grab your pen and paper and try to write down everything I'm saying. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and make the most of my time and that's what I like to do in the kitchen. All right, stir this up. And then you're gonna add in, we've, that's been about two minutes. You're gonna add in four tablespoons of flour. Now um, stir this flour up and you're gonna wanna cook the flour, like the flour taste out of it. So you at least wanna stir it up in here in your butter solution with your vegetables for, I don't know, a couple minutes at least, you know, just to get the flour taste out of it. You don't wanna taste raw flour. This is what I'm gonna using to thicken up my soup at the end of the day it will be thick after I add my other ingredients. Okay, let that saute a little bit. Get that flour taste out of it. Now at this point, I have a little sneaky uh, suspicion, <laughs> but I didn't put enough pepper. So I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper because I love flavor and I love heat. Um, and there's different ways to heat your food, and one is with pepper. So I just uh, gave a little bit more pepper because I know I'm probably gonna add more at the end anyway. So while we have a minute to kill. All right, now this is cooked up pretty nicely. Go ahead and chop one of my potatoes while I'm waiting to add my two cups of soy milk next. Now you can use any kind of milk you want. I'm using soy um, this time, but sometimes I use rice milk. A lot of times I will use rice milk in place of my of dairy. But today I wanted to try this recipe more with soy because I've tried it several times with um, rice milk and it's delicious. But anyway, it's just a little bit more creamier, but use whatever milk alternative that you choose to use. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and pour in my two cups of soy. Nope. And give that a stir. Now you want to add four cups of vegetable broth or stock, whatever you have on hand. You're going to add that into there. Awesome. Give it another stir. Now this will thicken up, and I even find it's even thicker the second day, but it's plenty thick the first day. I mean, it is an enjoyable soup you, your taste buds will thank you. All right, so we get that a stir, and then we wanna add in a couple of last things besides before we add our potatoes. You just think this is kinda odd, but this is just gonna be on the back notes of your tongue, and it's gonna have the people eating your soup going, hmm, I wonder, I wonder what's in her potato soup that tastes a little different than what I'm used to, in a good way. So you wanna put a little bit of nutmeg. I like freshly ground. You just put, you know, let's say 15 strikes back and forth on this. <laughs> That's, I'll have the exact measurement <laughs> for you. And then you wanna throw a bay leaf, one bay leaf in there. Give it a stir. And this is looking good. My whole house smells so great. All right, so now you wanna peel up five potatoes. Then it's all about the garnish and serving it up. That's it, y'all. I mean, 
it, if you didn't have all the chopping to do, chopping and dropping in the pan, this could easily be a 15 minute, but it also has to simmer for 30, so I guess not. But anyway, you could have excellent chopping skills and it still be a 30 minute meal because the, it takes 30 minutes for it to simmer. For the potatoes, as soon as the potatoes are done, your soup's done. So whether that takes 10 minutes or, you know, if you crank this puppy up on high, <laughs> I don't recommend you do that, but I mean, I think the max is 30 minutes, but it could possibly done be done in 20. You just want your potatoes to be done, and that is it. Then you're then you're good. You've got at least three meals, or one really good family meal. Another thing you could add to this, um, I'm going to do a video on it as well, and it is vegan biscuits. Or you can go to the store, and I think. Uh, Pillsbury croissants are accidentally vegan. You could get any vegan biscuit, but I have a recipe that is like, I don't know, five ingredients, and they make the best vegan biscuits ever. You're gonna notice I say that a lot. They miss the best ever. <laughs> it's kind of a joke in our family. Um, anyway, just keep on working on those potatoes, and then once you get them all done, you just drop them in there, and you're good to go. Throw your heat down to simmer. Simmer these potatoes until they're completely done. And we'll garnish up and be done with our meal. Thank y'all for hanging out with me today. Appreciate it. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting some of these potatoes in here. And your family, nobody. I mean, you could feed this to anyone, vegan, non-vegan, it doesn't matter. Your pickiest non-vegan that is skeptical, skeptical, <laughs> skeptical of you uh, being vegan, this would just totally blow their socks off. You can rinse your potatoes. I noticed I just didn't rinse my potatoes, probably should have, but you can rinse yours. Uh, I just didn't. I just got to yak into you guys and forgot, but I'm peeling off any of the dirt or anything, and I usually just buy organic everything I can. So anyway, uh, but you could definitely rinse it off. It might make a difference. I'm not sure though, <laughs> I don't think. Anyway, um, but you can serve this up to anybody and they'll never walk away and think, oh gosh, I just ate a, I just had a vegan meal. They'll walk away and think, my gosh, that mushroom potato soup was amazing and they'll want to come back for more. All right, so you give that a, a good stir. And that's it, that's it, y'all. We're just done. We're gonna wait for it to cook. Actually, I'm not gonna wait on camera, but we're gonna wait for this to cook. And then I'm gonna show you the final product. And I'll tell you, I, I did a chili recipe, a 15 minute vegan chili recipe that I'll try to leave below um, for you guys. This is an easy meal and with Thanksgiving and Christmas and all the parties and all the goings and comings and everything that's gonna happen the next couple of months, this is a really go-to meal of ours. So we can make this and forget about it and, and know that when we get done here and there and running everywhere, that we can go home and have a really nice, good vegan soup that we don't have to feel too bad about. So you can pair this with a salad. You could also pair it with, like I said, some vegan biscuits. And it's a well-rounded meal. All right, see you later. vegan potato mushroom soup. Yeah. Hi y'all, welcome to Live, Love, and Lifestyle. 